students today we are going to do a lesson from class 11 english textbook for me and the name of the lesson is landscape of the soul written by nathali tremole now this lesson let us first understand what a landscape is landscape is a scene of nature's beauty with forests mountains trees birds and all the beautiful things of the nature now this lesson landscape of the soul is about art as a spiritual journey to the inside of a painter's mind to the inner recesses of the painter's mind in that art what the concept is and what the idea that the painter wants to convey what idea he has represented so this lesson is about art as a spiritual journey to the inside of a painter's mind to understand what the painter wants to convey now there in this lesson we have basically two things to deal one is art as a spiritual journey to the inside of the painter's mind and second is outside of art art craft or raw art now let's first take up this part 1 that is art as a spiritual journey to the inside of the painter's mind first of all let us understand that there are two concepts in art any painting that you see i one thing is that you see it from outside and you enjoy its beauty you appreciate its beauty and that is the outer eye with which you are viewing it that is you view the painting with an outer eye as it is so that is the first uh, uh, way of our uh, first type of art is that is visual where you have to only see from the outer eye the other aspect is spiritual spiritual aspect of the painting the essence essence means the true meaning behind that painting the true idea behind that painting the concept that it conveys so art has two forms one is visual that is physical and the other is spiritual and that is the real meaning behind the painting for a layman it is the outer view a layman who is a simple person doesn't know any depth of art for him he will only appreciate from outside and spiritual aspect of the painting is the painter's concept anybody who wants to see the painter's idea he has to see the spiritual aspect now chinese painter who was he was a great master he was a great artist there are two chinese stories relating to chinese art because in chinese art we see there is a spiritual concept Now the two stories are that this painter Wu Daozi was asked by the emperor, a Tang emperor, Zhuang Zong, to ask him to make a beautiful landscape because he wanted to decorate the walls of his palace. So this painter Wu Daozi, he made a beautiful landscape. He painted a beautiful landscape, and he hid the picture. the landscape the scenery behind the screen because he only wanted the king to see it so when he asked the king to come and see that painting he removed the screen the emperor appreciated the painting because it had it had all the beauty of nature forest mountains birds in flight and all beautiful things of nature so he appreciated it then this painter who now is told the king He said he showed him a cave at the foot of a uh, mountain. He said, "Look here, a spirit lives here." And when the uh, painter came, uh, the king came over there, and he said, "Let me show you the way." He just clapped his hands, and the entrance to the cave opened. And then he said, "Inside is wonderful, and inside is splendid. Let me show you the way." So he, the painter and entered the cave as he entered the entrance closed before the king could utter any words he was astonished and before he could speak anything the painting 
horizontal, warm and moist. And now, in Chinese paintings, this is the concept of Shen Shui, which is presented. And there is mountain, there is water, they have the almost beauties of nature. But in these paintings, there is one more thing that, which is always there, that is the middle void. Middle void is the empty space in the middle of the painting. They always show or represent. There is an empty space, the white space inside the painting, which indicates that all interaction, human interaction takes place there. Without any interaction between yang and yin, between masculine and feminine, no creation is possible. So this is the Taoism concept of art in China. What is Taoism? This is the concept of creation. And how this creation is possible? Only with the interaction of yang and yin, that is mountain and water, that is masculine and feminine. And then only creation takes place. So the creation of, uh, the, the, the creation is represented, the idea of creation is represented in the Chinese paintings. And that idea is called as Taoism. So in Chinese paintings we see the landscape that is Shen Shui, that is mountain water. There is a painting which has a landscape, which has a mountain, which has water. And mountain is Yang, water is Yin. But, uh, mountain is masculine in nature what, uh, and water or Yin is feminine in nature. Masculine and feminine, male and female interaction, only then there is creation. So that idea is presented in the Chinese paintings. Now we come to the second aspect of the lesson. Outside the art, art or raw art. Now here we talked about this art which is formal, where there is a formal training and the artist by profession is an artist. Here there is an artist, outside the art is that art which in which the artist has no right to be an artist but he is born with it in he is born with the challenge of art and he has no formal training but even then he can make a masterpiece now in this this is an untutored art that is no training is there and here we say there is another aspect artwork raw art art is that raw art that is raw art which is in raw state there is no cultural or artistic influence on that. Anything waste material like uh, the broken tin, toe, broken parts of a car, etc. are used in order to create something. So it is not influenced by the beauties of art and culture, but it is uh, something which is in raw state. For example, the rock garden made by Nekchan in Chandi. The Nekchan, who was an untutored genius, but he had a rare talent of art in him. His art was raw art because he had made use of all uh, useless things, all scrap that he used, broken parts of a car, then there were broken tube lights, broken switches, plugs, so many other things. All waste material was used to create a thing of art and he created it so beautifully that it became unique art and he became famous in the world as a great artist and he was awarded and there was an interactive show in different countries. The name of the show was Realm of Nature. This interactive show was held in museums of Switzerland, Belgium, France and 